Hello everyone, it's me A Samarip welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of photo manipulation. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, going to the file and taking new options and taking an artboard according to the print that is the letter size and that is the 8.5 inch and 11 inch and color mode RGB just because of I want to make it publish in a web and hit the create button. Okay, after that going to the file and place embedded options and after that uh, here is a grass background and I'll place over there that is a little bit curved that's why I'm making the fit with that okay I made the horizontal line into proper into the straight way and hit the tick button right press and restall as the layer making this one grass okay that's fine and now going to the file and open up and now I'll treat the model actually so I'll cut the model properly so this one you can use a pen tool you can use any kind of tools like a selection tool so here from here you can use pen tool just because of pen tool is a more easier or you can use the selection from here the object selection tool but I'll suggest you to use the pen tool it will be done precisely so I'm using here pen tool P for the uh, pen tool and you can cut it out so I'm going to fast forward just because of it will take couple of minutes to complete the pen tool work So our selection is done right press and make selection and hit ok so after that going to here going to the selection and going to the select and mask in this portion i'll make the smooth little bit and edge shifting little bit like this so don't take it too much and here new layer with the layer mask and hit ok so we are getting the transparent background and saving this one you can use this one in future so after that going to the file and place embedded options from here I'll import the PSD file and hit the place options in this portion we are getting some black portion so we could uh, use or you could manage this one select this one again and select and mask options from here we could use the here refining options or we can make this one a little bit is shifting like that and here and hit ok now saving it out and this one is linked up with this so it will affect in this portion now here we just uh, made it uh, just because of uh, smart object if you want you can uh, use it uh, by pressing over there you can uh, edit anything over there and you can uh, save this one uh, this one is the main advantage of using the smart uh, object okay here is the grass options going to the filter and going to the blur and from the blur gallery going to the teal shape blur and make this one little bit down like that and the level like this it could be like that and blur I'll make it blur like this and hit ok so now time to brush this one we'll adjust this area so mask it out after that going to the brush tool and going to this one the grass tool I'll provide you the grass download link or grass brush download link in my video description select this one and you can brush over there so before that you can make the brush size smaller and brush the over there it seems like that uh, the girl is standing into the brushes grasses actually and this brush this grass brush will effect like that so in this area you can change any other grasses like a little bit bigger grasses okay it could be it could be more natural if you want so a little bit actually now when you are using this we have to change the settings from here color dynamic and you can use that yeah that's fine you can make it smaller okay 
that is more natural like this that's good so over there uh, we'll use the dodge and run just because of uh, the light is coming and we'll make the light source in to the other way if you make the light source in the right side you can uh, make the light over there and making it a little bit bigger it will be good and adjust with that so going to the brush tool again be from the brush tool and taking the first one soft round brush and taking another layer over there and pick color from here the warm color so this is the warm color and select once press ctrl or command t making this one bigger so the light is coming from here or here i think this is more realistic okay now going to the blending mode and making it screen and make the opposite a little bit down and now we'll adjust the shadow and highlight so making this one manipulation and saving this one into my computer and this girl press ctrl or command j and i should restylize this one okay i'll make this one restylize right press and restylize the layer okay and press ctrl or command and select this girl and now going to the edit options and going to the fill options from here 15 percent gray after adding that just making this one into overlay press ctrl or command d for this selection and now going to the dodge and burn process burn for the shadow if you brush over there you'll get the shadow you have to make the exposure 24 percent and make this one a little bit bigger or smaller it's totally up to you i'll make a little bit shadow and now if i go to the dodge it will add the light over there so you can adjust the things by pressing over here the camera filter press uh, controller command shift and a and contrast a little bit up highlight a little bit down and white a little bit up and a texture i'll remove texture and detailing i'll make the noise reduction a little bit and hit okay so that is natural and now you can do more shadow highlighting by using the dodge and burn so here the dodge tool and here is the burn tool okay that's fine okay that's nice and now selecting all the stops right press and going to the convert to smart object and after making that now time to color grading going to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins and you can get many of uh, color filters over here i'm using the cross processing lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photography if you want you can give that dreamy type effects and like this this or this whichever do you like you can give over there that is the green type okay i think that's nice okay that's fine and hit okay that's good now going to the adjustment and going to the color lookup from here i'll use the horror blue or the foggy night and i'll make this one a little bit down the opposite that's good and before that i'll add the things which is the rose petal here i downloaded the png over here So hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when i'm setting out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye